Good evening. A former FBI Director James Comey gave his first public testimony today since being fired. Senators want to know whether the president was trying to interfere with the Bureau's investigation into Donald Trump's campaign connections with Russia. That I was fired because of the Russia investigation. I was fired in some way to change, or the endeavor was to change the way the Russia investigation was being conducted. That is a, that is a very big deal. Tonight, we're hearing reaction to his testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee. John Lordson is in the CCO newsroom with more. John? Frank, this was the testimony that so many people across the country made a point to watch. In a hearing of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Comey said President Trump demanded loyalty and that he lied and defamed the FBI. You solemnly swear to tell the truth. Comey told the committee that the president asked him many times to declare his loyalty during private meetings that Comey called awkward. He says the president lied about why he was fired, and he accused the administration of defaming the FBI. By saying that the organization was in disarray, that it was poorly led, that the workforce had lost confidence in its leader. Those were lies. Plain and simple. Comey said the president lied when he said he did not ask Comey to lay off the investigation into Michael Flynn and his alleged ties to Russia. No. No. Next question. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. He also said he saw President Trump's tweet that suggested their meetings were taped. I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. After the hearing, Senator Amy Klobuchar praised the former FBI director for his testimony. And I think did it with a common sense and a down-to-earth way that the American people could relate to. But many Republicans did not feel the same way. And Mark Kasowitz, President Trump's personal attorney, even suggested Comey could be prosecuted for leaking a Trump-related memo through a friend to the media. The president never suggested that Mr. Comey, quote, let Flynn go. Trump left his comments up to his attorney today, and he also had a rare day without tweeting. But during a Faith and Freedom Coalition conference this morning, President Trump said, quote, we are under siege, you understand that, but we will come out bigger and better and stronger than ever. Frank? All right. Thanks, John. And there's more. A special counsel has taken over the Russia investigation. It could also look into possible obstruction of justice allegations against President Trump for asking Comey to drop the Flynn inquiry and for the firing and the timing of James Comey's dismissal. Stay with WCCO4 News as we continue to follow the very latest developments of the investigation.